to do a rendering of stripes and I've chosen a stripe fabric that I'm going to use as my inspiration and I'm sort of winging it here. Generally I would recommend drawing in your stripes but because this is a pretty wide simple stripe I'm pretty safe in just going for the rendering. In this case, it's nice to have the marker rather than the Q-tip because I can be very precise. You can see I've skipped over my pocket because the pocket would probably be going in a separate direction. Ideally, I probably would have started from the center to lay in those, those stripes on the bodice, but it looks pretty good. Now, this is a horizontal stripe, and I'm dealing with a lot of folds, so I have to give some feeling of those folds as I lay in the stripe. So I'm breaking the line as I go. It doesn't have to be incredibly precise, but you have to give a feeling of it curving around the folds. Now these are even more extreme folds, so I really have to be conscious of the direction in which they're going. And now because my fabric had a little stripe, I'm using my Tuscan Red to lay in a very fine line. There were actually two little stripes, but because I'm limited for space, I don't want to make it look busy, so I'm going to just do one. You just want to create an impression of your fabric. It does not have to be literally the exact number of stripes. Now again, because I'm working on a beige ground, I can just lay in the shadow for my figure. It's dramatic lights and darks. And I'm choosing a hair color that relates to my stripe. It's a warm reddish tone. It's always leaving a highlight so the hair looks shiny. Now I want to have some shadow. Shadow always creates a feeling of dimension. So I'm using a beige marker to lay in a soft shadow because my background is cream beige is a good choice I don't want to deaden my color a little bit of skin tone on the legs and push that leg back in space with the shadow put a warm color on my boots. You can see all the color is well integrated. I also want to show a darker stripe rendering, a light stripe on a dark ground. See how I often use Prisma Pencil to add highlights. I can use it for hair color. It's a great deal they can do for you. And I'm laying in about a cool gray eight, which is very close to black, but not quite. It's good to leave yourself a little leeway in terms of how dark your ground is, even if it's black. I tend to start with a cool gray and then add blacks. Now a bit of a darker gray for shadow and I can pull out my details with my shadow. And this can be even a darker cool gray or it can be black. Now 
you can see that my white Prisma pencil will actually show up pretty well on that dark ground. I could also use a very fine brush and gouache, but this works pretty well. I can use my black Prisma pencil to pull out details even more. Because the front of the dress is laced, I can add the lines for the lacing. adding shadow till I feel there's enough contrast. I'm always working back and forth between my marker and my Prisma pencils. And then of course the white gouache adds highlights, pulls out the edges. lacing becomes more visible.